I'll start this video with a made up letter. Hello Faribor, I noticed the Faribor season is two weeks in and we've not yet seen a video from you. I'm beginning to think you're not Faribor at all. Sort it out, yours, Mikhail Tomlinson, Kalsoy Post Office. Well, at the end of last season I was made to delete all 27 game week videos from the friendly CEO of his friendly television company. I have reached out to him in the last few weeks for a compromise whereby maybe I only show one goal a game, but like receiving the 2010 Faroese electro pop album War Kids as a gift, he's just given me the ghost. But look what's happened instead, Televarpi has started uploading entire game highlights onto their YouTube channel. They're all unlisted though, so I need to go to tv.fo slash samandratia betri diauden, maybe, to watch them, but they're all there and they're all free. Did you get that idea from me, Televar? I j just tell me if you did. I won't ask for any commission or a job interview or a free trip to watch the upcoming internationals, honest. I do encourage you to watch them because the first two game weeks have produced 44 goals. After two games each, HB and Klagswick topped the chart and the four teams promoted in the last two seasons all have a point apiece. So, let's talk internationals. There are friendlies coming up for the national team and a new name on the team sheet as HB's Mads Mikkelsen gets his first call up. But here's some amazing and promising news. Out of the five countries that the Faroe Islands play over the next few months, only one has ever beaten them. Let's start with the friendlies, the first of which is against Gibraltar. This little bit of southwest England glued onto the end of Spain for weather purposes is the newest member of UEFA and as a result have only played the Faroe Islands once. The Faroes left the peninsula with a 4-1 win. Goals from Johan Simon Edmondson, Halla Hansen and two from the now retired Christian Holst gave the Faroes the win in this friendly meeting back in 2014. The other friendly is against Liechtenstein, a team the Faroes have only ever played in friendlies. And they've won all five, a 100% record. They featured in one of my videos last year when the Faroes notched up their biggest ever win, 5-1. Could they go even better this time? With the backing of the home crowd behind them, they'll be right up for it. Onto the Nations League, where the Faroes now play in Division C, where they'll meet Luxembourg. Not only have Luxembourg never beaten the Faroe Islands, they've never even scored against them. Now yes, you'd probably say Luxembourg are a better side now, but so are the Faroe Islands, so this is entirely winnable as well. The Faroe Islands beat Luxembourg twice in World Cup 2002 qualifying. Firstly, a 2-0 win away, thanks to goals from Christian Jakobsen, now a coach at NSO Runewig, and Kurt Morkor, who is currently manager of, oh god, Avor... Avoro, Avroik, Amirati, these Norwegians. The second victory was a 1 0 win at Svangerskar, with a goal from former Air United midfielder and most Danish sounding name so far, Jens Christian Hansen. The two nations also met in a friendly in 2010, a 0 0 draw. The Faroe Islands also played Turkey, and you might think, well, this is clearly where the undefeated list finishes. Well, you'd be wrong, as the Faroe Islands and Turkey played out a 1-1 draw back in 1991, in what was only the Faroe Islands' fifth international game, and their first ever draw. Faroe's legend Toddy Johnson scored for the home side and sent Turkey home to roost. The problem team from them all are the Lithuanians. These Baltic bullies have played the Faroe Islands nine times and won seven of them, the most recent being a 2-1 win in a friendly in November 2020. But the Faroe Islands can look at one victory when it matters, a 2-1 win in World Cup 2010 qualifying with goals from Sunni Olsen and a young Arne Bjorn Hansen who, 13 years later, still turns out for Evie Stramer. So my blind, massively biased optimism has led me to believe the Faroe Islands will clearly go 2022 unbeaten. Well done Faroes! The reality may be a bit harsher, but let's see what manager Hawken Eriksson can do. With a 25% win rate from 16 games, he currently has the best win ratio of any previous manager, so the sun might yet shine on the Faroese fixtures. Don't forget to check out the domestic fixture videos, and I'll put up a video rounding off those friendly victories. Don't let me down guys. Thanks for watching, you're all super lovely awesome people, and I'll see you next time.